four or five years ago, I already started seeing a little bit these, these holes on top and my father, my grandfather, they don't have hair neither. At the beginning, it was especially, it was bothering me that uh, I have, let's say, these holes here on the side. Um, with some gel techniques, I could cover it up a little bit, but now it starts to be worse and also a bit more here in the middle. Uh, so it starts to be very difficult to, to cover up. And um, in the end, I've, I see myself often in pictures or, or videos from when I'm at, at work, my, my job as a racing driver. And, start to see myself more and more as well that I'm, I'm losing hair and uh, seeing it myself in the mirror as well. And yeah, if, uh, for a while I've, I've cut my hair completely and then I let it grow again, but it's not, it's not really growing like I want to and got the feeling from, I would, would like to, to try uh, and change it. I'm, I'm at an age where it's still not, let's say completely gone. Um, so that I at least yeah, I'm happy with my hair again, and uh, I hope <laughs> I will look better with, with more hair. So uh, yeah, it's more more personal, um, not not necessarily from the outside, but something something personal from my side. I remember uh, one anecdote from this year. I uh, I won a race and I got out of the car, and obviously no time to to look how my hair were or, or, or grab a cab, and uh, was on live TV and uh, and the way my hair were wet and, and they were laying, it looked worse than it looks now. And then uh, I had to hear a bit of jokes about it <laughs> as well. Nothing bad, obviously between friends, but uh, yeah, those small things, it's nothing dramatically where I'm not sleeping at night, uh, but yeah, something which I thought I can, can improve, improve the way I look. And I did some, uh, some research uh, as well on, on, on the internet and I spoke to some people uh, and I've heard he's, he's very good to, to make a natural uh, line, um, which is for me very important. Um, obviously you, want, uh, you don't want to see that it's, uh, it's, uh, it's made afterwards, uh, so as natural as possible. And uh, yeah, I think Dr. Ferdini, if I, if I put in the name to do what I wanted to do, it was something which was popping up often and positive. So uh, yeah, that's why it's, uh, I chose to come here. When I speak about it with other people, it's a quite funny story because, you know, at first you don't really know, should I tell anybody? Uh, you know, it's, I'm doing something for my aesthetic as a man. It's less maybe common than for women. So in the beginning, I didn't really speak about it. And then I started to telling some friends and some colleagues, some other race drivers. And to my surprise, they were all quite enthusiastic. And they even said, oh, okay, that's, uh, let me know how it went. Uh, they thought about it as well. Uh, and it sounded to me like a lot of men also think about it and maybe are a little bit more scared to talk about it. But uh, yeah, I was quite surprised about, about the positive reaction uh, of everybody. Yesterday uh, with my wife, uh, I looked back at some pictures uh, 10 years ago when I still had a lot of hair. So I'm curious how it will be in one year, if it will be the same or, or maybe a diff bit different. Um, I won't try to grow any dreadlocks or something like this, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to have some, some, some full hair again. And uh, yeah, quite curious, can't wait.